We're asked to find the general solution to y prime equals negative x y squared divided by three, including the singular solutions. To begin, notice that y equals zero is a solution called a singular solution. Notice when y is equal to zero, y prime is also equal to zero, and y equals zero does always have a slope of zero. Now we will assume that y doesn't equal zero and solve the differential equation using the technique of separation of variables. Looking at our notes on the right, if we have an equation in the form of dy dx equals f of x times g of y, meaning on the right side we have a function of x times a function of y, we can use the technique of separation of variables where we write the equation in the form where we have the y's on the left and the x's on the right, and then we integrate both sides of the equation. To begin, we write y prime as dy dx. Again, now we want the y's on the left and the x's on the right. Notice right now we have y squared on the right, so we could multiply both sides of the equation by one divided by y squared. But let's also remove the denominator of three and the negative sign by multiplying both sides of the equation by negative three divided by y squared. Notice on the right, y squared divided by y squared simplifies to one. A negative times a negative is equal to a positive. And we also have three divided by three, which simplifies to one. Notice the right side is just x now. On the left, we have negative three divided by y squared times dy dx. The only thing left is to move the dx to the right side. So we can think of multiplying both sides of the equation by dx, which gives us negative three divided by y squared dy equals x dx. Now that we have the y's on the left and the x's on the right, we integrate both sides of the equation. Notice how I also wrote three divided by y squared as three times y to the power of negative two. Integrating with respect to y on the left, we have negative three times y to the power of negative one divided by negative one plus a constant, which we'll include on the right, equals on the right, the integral of x dx is equal to x squared divided by two plus a constant. This plus c is the constant from the left and the right combined on the right. Simplifying on the left, we have three divided by y, which is equal to x squared divided by two plus c. And now we need to solve the equation for y. If three divided by y is equal to x squared divided by two plus c, we can take the reciprocal of both sides of the equation, which gives us y divided by three is equal to one over the sum of x squared divided by two and c. Next, let's multiply both sides of the equation by three. We now have y equals three divided by the quantity x squared divided by two plus c. So we could leave the equation in this form, but let's go ahead and clear the fraction from the denominator of the complex fraction by multiplying the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by two. Which gives us y equals six divided by the quantity x squared plus two c. But two c is just a constant, so let's go ahead and let d equal two c and write the general solution as y equals six divided by the quantity x squared plus d, where d is some constant. And again, we also have the singular solution of y equals zero. I hope you found this helpful.